Are you ready for our biggest vlog? Are you a little scared? <laughs> Hey Kimberbell friends, Kristen Som here and we are continuing with the Spring Showers quilt and today we are going to work on our biggest block. So we are going to do the toadstool block. It is on page 35 of our booklet and it's a big one with a lot of pieces to it. So just get ready, we'll do it together, don't worry. Alright, so what we need, let's get started. So the first thing that we need is our big piece of fabric. So mine's folded in half. I will iron that out before I start. It's just so that it fit in my little packet here. You know, we've been using these packets to organize our fabrics. So on this one, it is the blue stripes and it's kind of a sky blue. I don't know, uh, striped fabric. So this one we are supposed to cut to 12 and a half by 10 and a half. I actually cut mine to 12 and a half by 12 and a half because I had extra. And the reason I did that is because I wasn't sure which way that it's going to be on our hoop. And I didn't want to have to worry about that at when pre-cutting. So I just went ahead and I made it bigger so that whatever direction it is, I can put it how I want it to be in my hoop. So that's my little tip of what works for me. I made it a little bit bigger just so I don't have to worry about the direction. So 12 and a half by 10 and a half is what we officially need for this main fabric. Make sure to back this with fusible stabilizer. And like I always say, um, check it to make sure that there aren't any little uh, threads in there. So I can see actually I have one and it got ironed in. And the reason you don't want that is because you could see it on the inside. Hopefully mine won't show. There is a little thread in there, but I think it'll be fine. All right, so 12 and a half by 10 and a half for our main fabric. And then there's a list of supplies. So just stay with me here. So the first one is our grass. So this is going to be cut to 11 and a half by two. I did back it with feasible stabilizer. It is like an olive green um, silky solid. There's no design on it. This is for the grass. So uh, 11 and a half by two, one piece of that. And then the next one is for our toadstool one stem. And it is a cream colored, it's got a little dot, oh there it goes. All right, a cream colored silky solid. I backed it with fusible stabilizer. And this is for the stem of toadstool one. So basically that mushroom. And it is two by three, two by three in the creamy silky solid. And then a small one. So this one is for toadstool three, the stem of toadstool three. And we're gonna cut this to one and a half by two. So just a little piece, it's that creamy silky solid again. One and a half by two. And then my favorite, the coral silky solid. It's so pretty. I don't know if you can see that really well with the lighting, but it's very pretty. It's a silky solid. This is for toadstool one gills. So that's the part that's underneath the mushroom. That's what I'm calling it anyway. Um, this is three by two. So this way, three by two for the part that's underneath toadstool one. And then this, it's like a tan gray linen is what it looks like. I don't know. It's silky solid, light tan gray. And this one we're going to cut to two by three and it is for the stem of toadstool two. So the toadstool that's in the middle, the mushroom in the middle, this is for the stem. So two by three, I did back up fusible stabilizer. And then we have foam. We have two pieces of foam. So the first one is going to be six by two and a half. So this way, and it's going to work for the toadstools one and two and all together. And then it's six by two and a half. It's the flexifoam. And then for the next piece of flexifoam, it's four and a half by three. So this way, four and a half by three. And that's going to be for the toadstools three through six. These are going to be so cute, all puffy. Oh my gosh, that'll be fun. Fun, fun, fun. Kimberbell thinks of everything. All right, and then for our felt, um, this is that antique white. It's for the toadstool one cap, so the top of the mushroom. And that's three and a half by two and a half in antique white. Don't back this with anything, just leave felt as is. Three and a half by two and a half. And then we have 
this cherry red. So cherry red in three and a half by three, again, a piece of felt, don't back it with anything, three and a half by three. This is for the middle mushroom, toadstool two for the top of the mushroom um, in cherry red. And then we have gingerbread, so pretty. I love gingerbread, by the way, it's making me hungry. Gingerbread for, what is this one? Toadstool three cap, so the top of the mushroom for mushroom three or toadstool three. Two and a half by two and a half in the felt, don't back it with anything, gingerbread felt. What's your favorite kind of cookie? My favorite is gingerbread. What's your favorite? I wanna know. Sorry, I'm thinking of cookies now. <laughs> All right, prickly pear. We'll think about prickly pears instead. So prickly pear embroidery felt. This is for the toadstool caps on four, five, and six. And we're gonna cut this to three by three. Don't back it with anything, it's felt. Prickly pear. I'm not thinking about cookies anymore now. Prickly pear. <laughs> That does not sound appealing to me. So prickly pear in three by three, and that's for the three toadstools, four, five, and six. All right, and then sky blue applique glitter. On all of these applique glitters, applique glitters, I can say that. <laughs> so you wanna always remove the topping, and we'll go over that as we get closer. Um, I always have a hard time doing it when I'm on camera. So. Take off the top layer always, and we always iron it too. So I will go over that step by step, but just don't forget to take off that sticky topping. So on your sky blue applique glitter, that is so pretty by the way, oh my goodness, isn't that gorgeous? Um, sky blue applique glitter, we are gonna cut this to two by two. I haven't cut mine, it came like this in the, in the um, kit and I'm gonna use it for something else. You can see we're not gonna use all of that. So two by two, I just took it right out of my um, embellishment kit like that. And then the light gold applique glitter, same thing, take the topping off. And this is for the yellow butterfly. By the way, this is for the blue butterfly. This is for the yellow butterfly. And this one, again, two and a half by two. And I don't, I didn't pre-cut it. It came like this out of the um, embellishment kit and I'm quite certain we'll have extra left over. So on the blue one, it was two by two. On the yellow one, it's two and a half by two of the glitter. All right, so now let's talk about quilting. This is a big block. So I haven't gone over what will work for the five by seven people yet, but I will. I will do that um, as I get working on my block and thinking about what will work for you. So on this one, we are gonna use batting. So the batting, I cut mine to 11 by nine. The final cut size of this project is 10 and a half by eight. So that means we want nine by 11 batting. So 11, it's really 11 by nine because it's sideways. So 11 by nine on your batting. Um, like I said, I cut my main fabric bigger just because it's directional fabric and I didn't want to have to think about it while I was cutting. So I did do that, but your batting you want 11 by 9 and then um, we're going to quilt it. So on the quilting, I am going to use Insect 3. I haven't used it before. I think that will be really fun. It's butterflies. <laughs> How cute will that be with um, these little mushrooms and, and there are butterflies on it. Remember the yellow and the blue butterfly. So we're gonna have butterfly quilting. How fun will that be? So, and the fabric isn't so busy that we won't be able to see it. So I think that'll be really fun. <clears throat> so I'm using that Insect 3. This is a blue design. So the nice thing is, is since the people that have a five by seven hoop as your largest hoop, you will need to rehoop this for sure. I will go over, I will think about how, which sizes and how many um, hoopings and all that, but you can use this design. So that's really nice. Um, when it's a blue design, it means that it doesn't go into the seams because the ones that go into the seams, the orange designs, those will go over your initial hooping. And so you don't want that. You want a standalone design that is not going to have any traveling lines. So this is a blue design. It's a standalone design, so you could use this for rehooping. So that's a very nice thing is you can use Insect 3. All of us can use Insect 3 if you choose. <clears throat> you can use any design that you want. The size is going to be 8 by 10. Since our final cut size is 8.5 by 10.5, it's really 10.5 by 8.5, that means that we want a quilting design that is 8 by 10. So like I said, I'm using Insect 3, it's the butterflies for our quilting, and I will go over um, other information for those that are using a smaller hoop. 
This one does have special cut instructions, so pay attention when we get to the end. We'll go over that step by step. Um, let's see, is there anything else? Quilting design and uh, special cut instructions and our biggest block with lots and lots of little pieces. So this will be a fun one and we'll feel very accomplished when we finish this one. All right, I think that's about it. Um, mesh cutaway in our hoop. I backed all of my fabrics, but not the felt. I think I went over everything. Um, don't forget to take the sticky top off of the glitter. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, whether you are using your largest hoop or the 5x7, 6x10, or 8x12 hoop, it doesn't matter. Either way, you need to bring the design down. So we are going to bring it down to the basting stitch. So an easy way to do that, even if you've already quilted your main fabric, you could bring in, um, start with the quilting design. Let me zoom in a little bit. Hopefully you can see. All right, bring in your quilting design say set and then there's an add button here and more all right add and then go up to your USB stick and bring in the toadstools design and click set the buttons will be different on every machine but there will be something similar I'm sure all right, so we ha now have our quilting design and our toadstool design, but again, we want to move this down. So you can see the grass here. We want this to be at the very bottom of our basting stitch line, which is the last line showing. All right, let me zoom in one more time. All right, see the grass here, and then that red line here that is the bottom of the basting stitch. That's our goal. So we are going to hit the edit button. Mm. All right, edit up here and then move. And then we get these little arrows. So when, when we move up the arrows, it will move the last item brought in, which is our toadstool design. So we're just gonna move that down. And I'm just looking over my phone here. So excuse me if I'm moving. All right, and you can see the toadstool design going down. We want it lined up with the bottom of the basting stitch. All right, that looks good. All right, so just like that. So even if you already did your quilting design, that's okay. We would hit okay and exit out of the edit screen and click embroider. And then you can go ahead and bypass the first few steps, right? So we could just say, oh, we already did that one and that one that one and then there's our quilting and if you've already done that you would bypass that and get right to the grass All right so that was easy to do so we've moved the design down 
it is lined up with the bottom of the basting stitch and that's where we want it to to land i hope that makes sense and i hope this helps
And my shirt today is Be Kind. This is from So Cute Apple Case, and the shirt is from Amazon. I will add a link. Um, I have a couple of them. I really like this shirt. There's a few different color options. Um, but the design is Be Kind by So Cute Apple Case. It is applique inside, and then um, I think three different applique, four. It looks like there's one for the flowers, too. Um, really cute design from So Cute Apple Case. Thank you. 